Live from the Sony Centre in downtown Toronto, it's the first Canadian Screen Awards, an evening to celebrate the best in film and television. He was nominated for his role in Goon, and she is a Screen Award winner for Best Song for Cosmopolis. Please welcome Kim Coates and the lead singer of Metric, Emily Haynes. Uh, congratulations on your win, Thanks. Emily. Thank really you. happy for you. Um, we're honored to be here to hand out the award for Best Actor in a Drama Series. Yes, it's true. It's, it feels good. Uh, before we look at the nominees, I gotta ask you a couple questions. Like, do you prefer to be the maniac guy in Sons of Anarchy or the maniac coach in Goon? Go. Uh, I, I kind of I, I like them both. They're 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 both different to play, although. Bikers and hockey players essentially smell the same. Ah, I see. <laughs> Musicians, you know, too. Same thing. There's a scent, there's an aroma. Yeah, that's the stuff. All right, let's take a look at the nominees. Best actor in a television drama. Enrico Colantoni. Flashpoint. Andre Fuller. The L.A. Complex 2. Elias Coteus. Combat Hospital. Luke Mabley, Combat Hospital. Stephen Cree Mollison, Blackstone. There's a flashlight. And the screen award goes to... Here we go. I wanted to come up with a new name for it today, like we could say it, but I couldn't come up with anything. Why? It's the Canadian Screen Award. I don't there know, it go. didn't come to me. <gasps> Flashpoint. And we go. sort of feels like a five-sided coin toss, but uh, thank you, the Academy and uh, people who voted uh, for me. Um, um, of course, I, I, I didn't have anything prepared because uh, I don't do that. And um, at the very least, I'd like to tell the Canadian Revenue Agency that I'm going to uh, write this suit off. <laughs> so. Here's the proof. And um, of course, there are so many people that I, I want to thank. My beautiful wife, Mon Amour, Rosanna Coco, and my agent Rhonda, and uh, of course, uh, uh, Kev, uh, Kelly Macon, who directed this episode, and Aubrey Lieben, uh, Aubrey, Aubrey Nealon, who, who wrote it, and Adam Barkin, who uh, is also there that I owe a thanks to. And uh, of course, um, this always feels like actors are. Um, George Siegel always said that actors are, 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 are damaged goods until you get a phone call from somebody like Anne-Marie La Traverse and uh, Bill Mostos and um, Mark Ellis and uh, Stephanie Morgenstern who, who wrote these things and decided who they wanted in their little families and nothing, nothing, nothing surpasses, only, only, no, what surpasses this moment is that, the day that I got the bloody job. That, uh, that day, that, that day sort of, and it was all, and Huey, I owe, I owe Hugh Dillon a big, uh, a big uh, round of thanks because, because when I was up on the AC uh, at the Air Canada Centre, he was the only guy who kept talking to me to keep me calm, so uh, uh, I hope I didn't forget anybody, but you know I did, so thank you very much. to hand out the final award of the evening, two-time nominee and recent loser, Martin Short. It is my pleasure to hand out the final award of the night. It's for the best dramatic TV series, and here are the nominees. Best drama series. Arctic Air, Bomb Girls, 
Continuum. Flashpoint. King. And the Screen Award goes to... Flashpoint! Thank you so much for this award. What a privilege it has been for us to work on this television series with um, a group of people who aren't just exceptionally talented and hardworking, but also really, really cared about the show that they were creating all together. And, um, and we share this award with each and every single one of them, our, our Flashpoint family. And uh, we also um, want to thank our own families, Justin and Elodie. Uh, Deborah, Evan, and Margot. And actually, this award uh, we'd like to dedicate to the men and women of the Emergency Task Force. Um, they. These men and women inspired this series with their very personal stories of bravery and humanity. And all throughout the making of Flashpoint, uh, it was these people that motivated and touched us throughout the entire five-year ride that we were on. So this is for them. Thank you. Thank you.